What's going on guys? It's Coach Kyle here and we're back again with another Valorant episode. Today we're going to be... I know, I'm, I'm gonna be teaching how to use sentinels. Now, sentinels are like... are good at basically anchoring sites with, with their utilities. As long as you don't keep on doing the same stuff, like being repetitive all the time, you need to keep the enemy, you know, Hayaan nyo sila, hayaan nyo sila manghula kung saan saan. Don't keep using the same shit cause that won't work. I mean, it would work once or twice but not expect it to work all the time. Diba? Now, sentinels are actually stronger on the defender side kasi all you have to do is hold the site and your utility will do the rest. As long as you assist your utility as well. Let's say for a cypher, trap wire, you, you trap someone, right? You deploy your smoke, you can see a little bit of the wall hack that Cypher has when you trap someone. My ultimate is ready. So it's your job to spray it down. Spray the person down. Now that's how you anchor a site. You don't it's not only you depending on your utility, but you also helping your utility. You get my point? Uh, I'll show you in a bit. Wait, or kill joy if you wanna this is like the most common the replacement to put that there and you put your alarm bot here either here or there i usually put mine here like around here alarm bot out. because enemy patting is always usually you go here and go there you don't try to especially on low elo like they all go here all at once they don't usually go here and kill the guy here while this is smoke. So basically what I do is, yeah, you set the, the most common turret spot, you place it there. And I only place one swarm grenade here. I always save that extra one for later. Now, the enemy comes in, say the turret detects it, try to peek it, try to jiggle peek it. Don't don't swing out too early if you know that the, if you feel like it's multiple enemies all at once. Now, if you know it's multiple enemies, you hear multiple gunshots firing at your turret, then your alarm bot activates. You press Four this. Out. It's most likely gonna force them out to yeah. go here. They they usually what players do is they jump on it, they bunny up so they could go. So they could get away faster. Now you could catch them off guard while they're jumping if you would swing from this angle. Swing from this angle. Then if you know that there there's too many enemies coming from here, this is how you anchor the site. You make a smart decision. Try to fall back if you see no one here. Or if you know there are multiple enemies and you're the only one guarding B, your mid guy can rotate from here to help you contest that now if he's contesting yeah. this and you're out here getting your ass wolf yeah. by multiple enemies coming all out here at once you can just back off play for retake now this is where this shit comes in handy let's say if they plant yeah. i guess here yeah if they plant there and say this is you this is you you still have one your last swarm grenade right you wanna play retake with your team, you would just throw this. It's this. Placing swarm grenade. Oh shit. Wrong lineup. Swarm Placing swarm grenade. It's that. If I recall. Yep. It's that. Swarm grenade out. You can at least molly this off yeah. because usually people they tend to hide in here. This corner because it's unspotted. And molly that guy out or you can molly this by just you know if you want to bounce it off you can bounce it off like grenade. that whatever swarm grenade out yeah so that's how you basically retake or anchor now if you let's say for another setup wanna anchor so mag anchor ng B try switching up your turret for a bit like try placing it here Time out. if ever they would swing from here they still they would still get gunned down now. They, you could place your alarm bot right around here. Alarm bot. So that they the usual so that they won't expect because the usual alarm bot places are either 
here, here, or right around here. Now, if you wanna do, if you wanna waste your two mollies, just place Placing one here, swarm grenade. or you could place one here. Placing swarm grenade. If ever they would plant, let's say your turret and your alarm bot spot multiple people, they both get taken down. Swarm grenade out. Swarm grenade that. As long as you can contest these. Now, if you can't, then you hear someone's planting. Just swarm grenade out. Open up that molly. They would most likely kill the guy. To try hiding it here in the so that it would be less spotted out. and you have a full circle now let's say you want to play retake enemy the enemy team is playing strong a like they always keep on getting a you can just place your turret anywhere you like let's say whoa. just say yeah never mind that say put your turret here Anywhere, I will just put it here. Here, lagay na natin don para unang mas pat. Tapos yung ano mo, swarm grenade mo. Let's place kalang dito na masa. Save na lang isa. Now let's say enemy keeps on taking A and you guys wanna play, wanna play strong on A. You can just play mid as Killjoy and a Sentinel. Contest this while your other four teammates here. are here, 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 here. Whatever they want to go, wherever they want to go, just basta nandun lang sila. I wanna play A. You could go mid and ask for a rotation if you hear multiple guys that say you wanna play, play market, right? Just kill people here. And as well as you could hear their footsteps ever they're rotating. Now, if it's a strong A and your teammate, teammate spotted the spike, and you can just recall your shit. Bot coming back. You just recall your shit. And then play this. See? And you then you rotate. That's it. So if you wanna be a cipher if you if you are a cipher. Oh yeah, by the way, kill joy ult, you just place it either here. here you just place it basically here, here so that it won't get wall banged here. Or you just place it here. around here. That's still gonna get wall bang. Alright, just place yeah. it here. Whatever you want. Anywhere is good. Wanna play Cypher, you wanna anchor this. I tend to go for. I'll put a smoke down here. I guess a tripwire there. And a tripwire here. Then I save my one extra smoke if I want to escape. Let's say. Enemies are pushing. Put your camera right here. They start pushing, right? Spot yeah. them. I activate your smoke. They destroy your tripwire. There's gonna be another one. Now, if they won't destroy your tripwire and they get caught, you can just spray them down. Spray them down. Like that. Now, if your tripwire gets destroyed, you could. And this tripwire gets destroyed. You could potentially just contest the site. Now, if now if you can contest the site, let's say there you spot three enemies here, but two enemies yeah. are still here. You could use that one extra smoke to put it here. It's triggered. Just jump out to safety. So you won't get gunned down. Or you could just place it here. Around here. Cage triggered. And play retake with your team. Now, if your camera is still alive, you could get that shit. Say all enemies are on all enemies are on B. Just place your camera right here. And help your teammate out. That's it. And let's say you wanna be you wanna switch up things. Say you put a smoke here. Put your trip wire around here. Then put it around put one here or either here. I usually go for this. Now you wanna switch up things. I usually put a smoke here. Cage triggered. So it covers that. If you want if your teammates wants to cross. Wait. Just bring it around there. Yeah. Cage triggered. Now I only do this setup, me personally. I only do this setup if my teammates wants to play retake. I mean that smoke, yeah. I mean, how I let 
Let me rephrase that. Wanna anchor this? Di pala to pang rate take. Wanna anchor this? You, you have to do this, then you place your camera right around here. It's okay if your camera gets destroyed, it's just for early info. Now, if you spot someone and you destroy your camera early, just Cage triggered. trigger that. And if ever you hear a sound that they went inside the smoke, don't be afraid to spam it. Now, now, if you think there's too many of them, you could ask for help for the guy in mid to swing out here while you swing out here. If ever you caught someone, just wall bang them and you're good to go. Now, if they destroy your tripwire and shit, it's all good. You guys could just play retake. Now, if you want to play, let's say, the scenario again, the same scenario that there's enemies are pushing strong on A. Just go for this smoke setup like I said, like what I did earlier. So just put this and then put this. Put these two smokes. If you want to leave B side, this is this is the scenario. Like if you want to leave B side and you want to be sneaky as fuck, just do this. <laughs> Place your camera right below there. Or anywhere, just somewhere that you think it's gonna be stealthy. Now, if you wanna play, let's say you guys tap A, or at least say we have one guy mid and four people on A, and they destroyed your shit. Let's say you trip mine this, you trip mine the like, trap wire this and trap wire that. Yeah, let's say you trap wire this and trap wire that. They destroyed it, you have info that now that they're pushing B and no one's going A. Just wait for a few seconds. If you think there's they're gonna start, they're gonna stack already the site, then just open up your cam, check for shit, relay info, and all that. Then if, if you guys gonna if you guys wanna start to go for a retake, just activate Gate your cage smoke. Trigger. It blocks the side from here, and if, if your guys are entering from here, it blocks the side from here. Now they would only be forced to play this, which is very open. It's very open. Now if you spot that from here, it's gonna be seen. It's gonna be a peeker's and bad page right there. If you have a smoke Cage here, triggered. you have a smoke here. Cage triggered. You guys can have a safe pass through. Like if you wanna enter this, you can kill the guys here without worrying about getting picked off here because of, Cage trigger. because of that smoke right and now if your guy is entering if your guy is entering here if your teammate is entering here Cage you, trigger. that smoke you can only worry about wait, that smoke Cage and trigger. that smoke you can worry about this and this and this and this while you worry about this and this so it's basically a crossfire all around for Cypher. For Sage, I mean Sage, Sage has a slow orb which means you can do this. There are multiple enemies that throw a slow orb there. Just don't bounce it off like that, just throw it like this. Yeah, you throw it like that just to delay them for a bit. Because it's gonna be a long high speed walk. Now you have that advantage, right? So you throw it here. I'm gonna go all the way here. Now they're fucking slowed. If they're stupid, they're gonna peek it. If they're not, they're gonna wait for it. Now if you feel like if you can hear those ticking sounds, just spam this wall. Spam it. And you're guaranteed to have a free kill. Now if you if you slow orb them at the exact time and you have a teammate on market, you can swing out here and just spray people. See, that's how you play Sage with your slow orbs. Now, if you want to play Retake, I usually throw mine randomly, which is stupid. <laughs> I just do this. You can slow orb the whole backside. If you hear that ticking, that means someone's there. Or if you want to go for aggressive plays, you could just <clears throat> do the different kinds of Sage walls. Like, do this. Like a do that and play this you're basically good to go you, you can still spot enemies there
spray people down here or if you want to switch things up you just go up here like Sentinels are actually gods at <laughs> for me I, I at least they they're good they're good at defending the B side. Yeah, you can do that. You just spray people here or you could you spot people, you just slow orb that. But, yeah. You're good to go. That's it. Or if you wanna play for a sage wall, you just do this. Play this, lower this, if you hear someone, wall it off. If you wanna go with the wall, then go here, just pick someone up. Yeah, that's all. That's, that's basically it for the sentinel. Yup, that's all of the sentinels. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Ayan, yun na yun.